Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing Demon X Machina on the GTX 1650 Super. This is a game that came out on the Nintendo Switch but I just realized that it also went on Steam by just coincidence. It's yet another Unreal Engine 4 game, considering it was a Switch exclusive at first, I was expecting good numbers, and that's exactly what I ran into, but it blew me away, you can do 4K even on a GTX 750 Ti with more than 30 frames per second. So yeah, this game runs really really well. In the options menu you can select resolution, FPS cap, quality of shadows and some other post-process things such as bloom or lens flares. If you need to improve the numbers due to trying a very high resolution or something, disable anti-aliasing and the other post-process things. I didn't notice much of a boost by lowering shadows. Despite this game listing both TAA and FXAA, both look awful, there's tons of very obvious aliasing present here. Consider forcing a higher resolution to get rid of the shimmering using NVIDIA's DSR option or AMD's VSR. 1440p on a 1080p monitor seems to do the trick for me in this case. For the testing I went into one of the missions that has big enemies in the end. That was the place where the Nintendo Switch was hitting 25 frames per second in the videos I saw online, so I consider it a good enough reference. On the CPU side of things, if you have a modern quad core, you can easily maintain 60 frames per second. I started seeing drops in the GPU usage once I was going past 130 frames per second, with big enemies on screen at the same time. So consider a faster CPU if you're targeting 144 FPS. Other than that, a very expensive CPU doesn't make much sense here. So yeah, to sum up, while the game doesn't have the best graphics around, it has a good artistic look in my opinion, and runs really great, so that's always a positive in my book. So anyway guys, that's about it, I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching, and see you next time! Over already, huh? Looks like the rookie's still in one piece too. Time to head home and... Wait, Johnny, I don't like how this smells. Something's coming. You and your nose. Access granted. Sky Union's radar station has confirmed the appearance of immortals in your vicinity. Transmitting target data. Oh, what am I even looking at? Their sizes. Even class? Oh man. You sure we're not in over our heads here? Mission update. Sky Union has notified us of a change to this mission. You are to stop these immortals from advancing further into Sky Union's territory. What? You've got to be kidding me! What's the call, Corporal? We're right where we need. Should have known you'd say something like that. Ah. Fine. I guess we're doing this. There are no whiners and bullet books. Besides, I'm sure BG planned this. I really hope you're right about that. Scanning battlefield. Femto particle density is low. Electronic devices will not be affected. Initiating each arsenal's data link. Opening squad communications channel. Begin the mission. Hey, Ruby. Looks like you made it to the battlefield in one piece. Welcome to the Oval Link. Exciting, isn't it? This is hell. Though. Encased in a 2,000 kilometer wide barrier. Focus. Come on, man. What do you keep busting my chops for? Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. The name's Johnny G. I'm with Bulletworks. And that lovely ray of sunshine is the Corporal. He's with Bulletworks, too. Please remember to use my call sign. Oh. My call sign is my real name. Man, I wish I had a cool sounding call sign like Falcon. A call sign is just a word to help us ID each other. 
me if you say so. Anyway, Bola Works has been placed in charge of this area. The other areas are being handled by other reclaimers. Choose your partners wisely. In this line of work, the wrong choice can get you killed. Corporal's right. You'll definitely want to steer clear of the shadier mercs. Just keep tabs on the mercenary rumor. And you'll learn fast who's hot and who's not. Anyway, back on top. Sky Union has managed to hold this area for a long time. But every now and then, AI invaders will show up knocking at the door, trying to get in. And when that happens, we get called in to clean house. Best control, more or less. Pretty much. You probably already know about the Immortals, but just in case. They're responsible for corrupting all these AI that we've been sent to destroy. But our arsenals are more than a match for them. These AI might have... Mission complete. Executing automatic return sequence. Return according to instructions. Over already, huh? Looks like the rookie's still in one piece, too. Time to head home and... Wait, Johnny. I don't like how this smells. Something's coming. You and your nose. Access granted. Sky Union's radar station has confirmed the appearance of immortals in your vicinity. Transmitting target data. What am I even looking at? Their sizes. Keegan class? Oh man. Are you sure we're not in over our heads here? Mission update. Sky Union has notified us of a change to this mission. You are to stop these immortals from advancing further into Sky Union's territory. What? You've got to be kidding me! What's the call, Corporal? We're right where we need you. Should have known you'd say something like that. Ah, fine. I guess we're doing this. There are no whiners in bullet games. Besides, it's your BG plan. I really hope you're right about that. Particle density is low. Electronic devices will not be affected. Initiating each arsenal's data link. Opening squad communications channel. Begin the mission. Hey, Ruby. Looks like you made it to the battlefield in one piece. Welcome to the Oval Link. Exciting, isn't it? This is hell. Encased in a 2,000 kilometer wide barrier. Focus. Come on, man. What do you keep busting my chops for? Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. The name's Johnny G. I'm with Bulletworks, and that lovely ray of sunshine is the Corporal. He's with Bulletworks, too. Please remember to use my call sign, Falcon. My call sign is my real name. Man, I wish I had a cool-sounding call sign like Falcon. A call sign is just a word to help us ID each other. If you say so, Corporal. Anyway, Bulletworks has been placed in charge of this area. The other areas are being handled by other reclaimer squads. Choose your partner, wife. In this line of work, the wrong choice can get you killed. Corporal's right. You'll definitely want to steer clear of the shadier mercs. Just keep tabs on the mercenary room. And you'll learn fast who's hot and who's not. Anyway, back on top. Sky Union has managed to hold this area for a long time. But every now and then, AI invaders will show up knocking at the door, trying to get in. And when that happens, we get called in to clean house. Best control, more or less. Pretty much. You probably already know about the Immortals, but just in case. They're responsible for corrupting all these AI that we've been sent to destroy. But our arsenals are more than a match for them. These AI might as well be fish in a barrel. Immortals must be destroyed. Mission complete. 
Executing automatic return sequence. Return according to instructions. Over already, huh? Looks like the rookie's still in one piece, too. Time to head home and... Wait, Johnny. I don't like how this smells. Something's coming. You and your nose. Access granted. Sky Union's radar station has confirmed the appearance of immortals in your vicinity. Transmitting target data. What am I even looking at? Sizes. Union class? Oh man. You sure we're not in over our heads here? Mission update. Sky Union has notified us of a change to this mission. You are to stop these immortals from advancing further into Sky Union's territory. What? You've got to be kidding me! What's the call, Corporal? We're right where we need Should have known you'd say something like that. <sighs> Fine. I guess we're doing this. There are no whiners in bullet holes. Besides, I'm sure BG planned this. I really hope you're right about that. 